subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. It works at tracking you too. So if you thought that you weren't being tracked just because you bought an iPhone, think again but you do have control here and uh, don't be afraid because a lot of this tracking going on is just to help you have a better user experience but for those of you who are questioning privacy and uh, lately in 2018 privacy has been a hot topic and it's going to continue to be as more smartphones are being activated than ever let's go into settings here and when you get into your ios settings scroll down to the general or privacy excuse me go down to privacy and go into location service Services. Here is where most of this tracking does take place. Now, if you go to location services, it's easy to just turn it on and off. And many people see these apps. Okay, I don't want this app tracking me and things like that. But the thing is, is most of it's hidden down here in system services. So it's kind of not really something you might pay attention to. Now, when you're in system services, there is a ton of things that are actually tracking right now. So let's go through a couple of them right here. So if you do use the compass a lot, you're gonna wanna leave that on. Emergency SOS, definitely leave that on unless you don't wanna be tracked, but I mean, why wouldn't you wanna be tracked in case of an emergency? Find my iPhone, leave that on. Now, if you're not using HomeKit, like HomeKit stuff, why would you need that on? So I would go ahead and turn that off. Location-based alerts. You can turn these off unless you're using reminders for location, like remind me when I get to this place, like in the reminders app. If you don't find yourself doing that often, you don't need that on right there. Now, also, you are having location-based Apple ads. So, you know, depending on where you're at, ads might show based on your location. So you would turn that off. Location-based suggestions. Now, depending on where you're at, you're gonna be suggested. Restaurants, gas stations, things like that can happen here for the iPhone. Now, remember, if you turn off some of these, it's gonna be hard for Siri to find a lot of things for you. So if you do use Siri a lot, then you probably have been enjoying that these things are on and you like knowing where everything is, but if you're the type of person who values privacy and you rather just search stuff up by yourself, here's where this becomes a little bit more anonymous for you. So you can go ahead and turn this off, going down to motion, calibration, and distance. Now, if you're not using an Apple Watch for tracking fitness or anything like that, then you can go ahead and turn off motion calibration and distance because the iPhone will be tracking your every step and your distance and things like that in Apple Health, even if you're not using it. So go ahead and turn that off. If you're not traveling to different time zones quite frequently, you can go ahead and turn this one off and you can share your location and messages and find my friends. If you use that, keep it on. But if you don't ever share your locations and iMessage and things like that, there's no need to have that on either. Now under Wi-Fi networking, Wi-Fi networks, Apple collects data from the Wi-Fi, you know, in near night Wi-Fi networks. So if you use a lot of public Wi-Fi networks, you might wanna leave this on, but if you find yourself already connected to your house Wi-Fi all the time, or you already have preset saved Wi-Fi connections, you might not need that one on. Okay guys, so in significant locations, go ahead and verify that with the Touch ID. It says right here, allow your iPhone to learn places significant to you in order to provide useful location related information maps calendar photos and more significant locations are encrypted and cannot be read by apple so you can go ahead and leave this one on if you do like how it kind of just knows the things that you significantly go to and it just helps you out to find your locations better you might want to leave that one on under product improvement here you have iphone analytics which is basically just trying to you know give them analytics and improve the iphone there's plenty of people who don't even know about these settings that will still give them data so i would go ahead and just turn that off popular near me you don't really need this one either it's just going to tell you things that are popular in the area sometimes and collect data from things that are near you in apps so i probably would just turn this one off and routing and traffic i would just turn this one off as well if you don't care about the product improvement section most of the stuff that you need will still work in maps and traffic so that's google based if you're using google maps now backing out of location services you can see we have everything here you can also decide Disable the status bar icon if you don't want to keep seeing that little arrow that points up at the top of your status bar letting you know that they are doing some location stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and disable all of the applications you don't want to use. That one's pretty basic. We all know how to do that. Okay, so under share my location, you might want to turn this one off. If you're not you know, sharing location with friends and family quite a bit or using the HomePod, this one won't really matter 
all that much to you. And of course, a lot of people are probably commenting, just turn off location services, like as if that's going to make the experience better. You turn off location services, you can't use anything to get anywhere on your phone if you want to use this as a GPS device. But if you followed all of the tips here in this video, you will still have basically the same experience you're having, but a little bit of a more anonymous feel. Now, remember, these are a lot of these are personally subjective to what you want to be, you know, having tracked on your phone. But all of this stuff has been tracking in the background, and that's how your iPhone tracks you. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. I want to bring more tutorial based videos like this. So, comment your thoughts about this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.